What's up, fam? Welcome to DB Eating. I'm your man D, and uh, look who I got on the set with me today, y'all. Hey, everybody. What's up? How y'all doing, DB Nations? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the wifey on deck with me, man. And today there will be a topic of discussion uh, based on uh, basically talking about men and what men uh, expect from their wives or, or, or their significant others. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. And I brought speaking on the channel because I want to be fair about the views and opinions um, from a woman's standpoint, from a married woman's standpoint. And I'm going to basically give my standpoint uh, for the fellas. All right, so there ain't going to be no fighting, ain't going to be no arguing on this this uh, this video or anything like that. We're going to give our true uh, opinions about things. And, you know, we just want to hear you all out in the comment section. All right. All right. But we got uh Le caesar's pizza going on and um we got the large pepperoni the buffalo wings i got on my side and some breadsticks okay but let let's let's go ahead and get our grace on heavenly father in the mighty name of your son yahushua hamashiach lord i thank you lord for the food we're about to receive i ask that you bless those father that it's not as fortunate as i am father in the mighty name of your son yahushua hamashiach's name i pray we pray amen and amen amen and if this is your first time watching my channel, please subscribe now. When you subscribe, hit that all notifications bell. That way you will not miss any of my videos, okay? And let's thumbs up the video, y'all. Thumbs it up. Let's get this thing pumping. The algorithm pumping, all right? No doubt. All right, so um, topic of discussion, ladies, fellas. We, I, I want y'all to come in in the comment section and give, give me your opinion. You know, because I, I think the topic of discussion today is going to be very valid uh, from a man's point of view. And I just want to hear my wifey's point of view on it as well, okay? All right, but let me go ahead and get a little, so let's get some food on our mouth first. Yeah. Got some marinara sauce. I really don't like the sauce. Oh, you don't? I didn't know that. When I eat some of the sauce for the ones who out there love sauce. I am. Now, might I add, baby, you're looking beautiful today. Thank you. You're an amazing looking woman. I love you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Still sexy looking girl. Mm. Mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm just keeping it real. I would do this on my channel, but the ones who watch both of us, I wasn't feeling good. I was in the hospital. And I've been laying back, you know, recuperating and following the doctor's orders and everything. So I'm slowly coming back. So that's why I'm on his channel today. And I know Squeaky hasn't been active on her channel. She'll explain that uh, to her subscribers on her channel uh, in the coming weeks, okay? So DB Nation, what's going on with y'all? How y'all been? What it do? Your boy D back at it again. There's another mukbang in the house. With a topic of discussion. Okay, so. All right, let me say this. I feel that as as a man, and I'm representing all the fellas out there that's married, and they'll agree as well, that in a marriage, we as men, fellas, as husbands, provide our wives with everything they need. Whenever they ask us to do something, we do it. If a situation occurs that we need to take care of it right away, whatever it is that our wives need to be done for us to, to actually do it, we do it and we get it done. Okay? And as a man... A married man, 
most guys will agree that through all of that that we do for our wives, there's only one thing, one, that men require of our wives, and that is to be heard. Let me say it again for the people in the back. Out of all the things that we as husbands do for our wives, and we make sure we get it done, the multitude of things that they require of us, there is only one thing we as men require of our wives, and that is to be heard. And let me break it down. Piece of blessing. Okay. First of all, men have a lot on our minds. More than a woman would ever know. Especially if it's a man that has responsibilities in a marriage. With, with children, being a parent, Men have a lot of pressure on us that we don't even talk about. And a lot of times we won't talk about it because we hold so much in as, as men because we feel that we can handle it on our own. But when it's time for us to really talk to our wives about whatever it is that we got going on, As a married man, I feel that my wife ought to be there to hear me out. Because men don't speak much. We don't say much with, you know, if things are bothering us, we really don't talk about it. But when it's that time, it's that time and they release everything. We release everything. So it, I feel that it's very important for the wife or wives to hear out their husbands and really listen to what he has to say. Because as I was saying earlier, man, that's so much stuff, man, that, that pressures us as men. Everyday life situations, financial issues, Situations that may occur at work. Somebody might have tried us, you know what I'm saying, make us go off. We want to be heard as men from our, you know, from our wives. Now, when the man is speaking to their wife and, and he releases everything. I feel it's very important for that woman to listen, be attentive, and really be caring and concerned about what the hubby is going through. Because it makes a big difference in resolving the issue of the hubby or whatever he's thinking. But in some cases, in marriages, you have 
wives that don't hear their husbands out as they should or, or care as much or, sh or show some concern, you know. And that's frustrating for a man. Frustrating. Now, in some cases, I ain't saying all, when that happens, we as men, sometimes, depending on that man, if it's a serious enough situation that he's got going on within himself, and a wife ain't really trying to show any concern like that, the, the hubby will see speaking to somebody else elsewhere. Now, that doesn't mean that he's speaking to a side chick or anything like that. It's just that we want to be heard because we got issues within ourselves and we need somebody to listen. Really, really listen. So, ladies, if you're in a situation like that where you your husband is coming to you and he's trying to vent on some things. I feel you really, really need to give him your undivided attention. It makes a world of a difference to a man when he's got that wife to actually listen and to help him through whatever he's going through, whatever it may be. Now, that's my take on it. And in all fairness, like I said, I got Sweetie here as my wife to give her a take on how she feels. So what's your take on that, baby? Well, and you know me, in, this, in a situation like this, um, everybody is different. Every woman is different. But how she take it and receive in the situation, that woman, in my case, I pray about it. And also, I get my input on that situation because we're together. Now, when a man hold it in, it's, it's not communicating. You have to communicate about your feelings and you hold everything in that's not communicating then when it's time then you lashes out you angry you have that angriness inside you you know from whatever person that hurt you this and that and you got to pray and put that thing in god's hand you really have to pray and put it in his hand that's the only way it's gonna work yeah. it ain't gonna work no other way if you don't give it to god Pray and put it and release it and put it in his hand. Yeah, it's hard. I understand that it's hard. And you're going through, and those people still hurting you in the, in the past and still hurting you in the future. You just got to put them in God's hand because that's the only way it's going to work. And pray for them because that's what he said. Pray for your enemies, the one who crucified, who, who cursed at you, who do things to you. Still love them. Still love them, but give it to him. And as a woman, yeah, like I said, each woman is different. Maybe she don't know how to receive it at that point or how to handle it or how to know how to answer her husband, you know, a campaign or whatever, you know, at that point. Maybe she need to go and pray. And then there's some who probably can and say, well, baby, this is what we're going to do this, A, B, and C. You know, and talk to you about it. But I know you should come together and talk about it no matter what. You know, on that situation. That's true. So let me ask you this. As a married woman, What advice do you have for other married women 
to when their husband does does come to them with with a, a personal issue of here his and and they he just wants to be heard and expects her to help him resolve the situation because that's really the reason why the the, the hubby is going to the wife mm -hmm. because he wants to vent and depending on how intense the situation is He may lash out because of ang anger, because not not to be directed at her, but because of what prior happened to the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, see, in first place, one of the things is at that point, you as one, you as one flex, you and you and God, you as one. There's no more two, and you sit down with him and you talk about that situation, that thing. Whatever it is. No. Oh. And you give it to God together. You pray for them. So what, what do you say to their wives that? And see in other things like me. I can see my husband at work. I call him often out the day because I see his face. When sure. I pray and I ask God and I'm praying, I could be watching TV uh, something and I get to praying and get my mind on the Lord and he'll show me my husband no. and I and I see him and I will call my husband and say babe I see your face I see your face I'm calling you is you okay I just want to know is you all right I do that I call my husband two three times a day every day when he's at work because no. he almost drive an hour away from my house I want him to get there safely and come back safely to us, his family. I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. But you know what, y'all? I ain't going to lie. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. I love my wife. My wife knows that I love her dearly. I'll do anything within, anything yes. and everything within my power to make sure she's well taken care of. Um, she will call me. And, you know, I thank God for the, for the Holy Spirit for giving her that spirit of discernment for me. You know, and, um, and and the love we have for, for each other is just amazing, y'all, on camera and, and also um, off camera. And um, there's times where, you know, she'll call me and, and it'll be a bad time. You yeah, know, and I, and I tell her, I say, babe, he, you can't call me right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm busy and everything. And, and, and sometimes it is frustrating, but I do understand. I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't get mad at her. You know, I just let her know. I say, is this yeah, not a good time? He tell me. He said, I can't talk right now. He said, what you want? Hurry up. I'm busy. And I say, you okay? I say, I see your face. And I'm just calling to see if you are right. And he uh -huh. say, uh, he'll say, I'm in pain or something. Something went on with a customer or something like that. You know, I uh -huh. can feel my husband. I'm telling y'all. Let me tell y'all something this here. Wait a minute. Let me, let me tell y'all something. You know what I told my husband? Out of a hundred men, they could blindfold me and put me there. I know my husband's smell. I know his touch. I know how he sounds. He ain't got to say nothing. I know my husband's smell. That's how much God, I'm in tune with God, one. made it, us as one, one yeah. as my husband. Yeah. When I hurt the parts of my body, he hurt. Yeah. I know I my it. husband. I know his smell. When she hurt, I'm telling you. And believe it or not, when she hurt in her legs or her back, yes. believe it or not, y'all, no cap. No cap. I feel it. He feel it. I know it's a crazy thing to, to you know. To probably say, but it's true. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm being totally honest with y'all. I'm being from the bottom of my heart. Yes, I do. And I, and I can, God, to pray me, I say in the name of Jesus, I be praying. I be praying the blood of God, I it I, and pray with the blood of Jesus over my family. My house, my home, and my husband, to and forth from work, at work. Because things happen. You know, it's so dangerous out there now these days in this world. It's so dangerous, you know. And I plead the blood of Jesus to protect him. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and, and men out there, you plead the blood of Jesus over your family and your husband and your wife. Yeah, and I can see his face. I say, I, I could be here with my kids watching TV or something. Or I'm here, I say, I see my husband's face. I got to call him. Or I just call him, you know. 
And I said, babe, is you all right? Is everything all right? You know? Yeah. And, I do. And in closing, y'all, we just want to say, and I want to say to the wives out there, ladies, your husband has a lot on his mind. He has a lot of pressure. Sometimes he ain't going to talk about it. But just know, when he comes to you and he wants to talk to you, please, 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 make yourself available. Make yourself attentive. And show, show some concern for him, whatever he's trying to tell you, okay? Because it's going to make a world of a difference. And, and he'll know if you're paying attention or not, based on your expressions. Okay? So just, just make yourself, you know, available and attentive. Right, because once he sees that you care, that's a part of healing. You know what I'm saying? He know, he's he's knowing that wow, my wife is really listening to me, and give him some the best advice that you can to comfort him, to make sure that it's going to be all right. Even if y'all got to come together and pray, and, and trust in God to work that thing out. But uh, you know, husbands, men in general, need to be heard. All right, need to be heard. It's so important, and. In closing, as a married couple, if y'all have any disagreements in your marriage, and y'all, let's just say, you know, you have a little argument or whatever, and, and, and you know, y'all mad. And we do, we fight each other, of course. You yeah. know, we have disagreement, but we come together and we work that thing out, and at the end, we all want a car. Yeah. Some, some little in there, I might not like it, and some little in there, he might not like it toward us. Mm -hmm. But we not fighting each other or doing none of that, because... You know, that's my husband. I'm going to respect him. He loves me. I love him. He's going to respect me. But, yeah, yeah. we have differences of opinion. Come on, y'all. We, we here with just like y'all is. Yeah. It ain't a piece of cake here. Okay. You know, we got families and problems and situations, and we have to pray about that thing. You just don't know behind the camera. That, that's going to be big situations. It's small ones and medium. Amen. But we're going to come together and work it out. End of the day, ain't got no police knocking at my door. We fighting, getting the guns, shooting each other, none of that. No, we're going to pray that thing. Amen. And we're going to give it to God. That's what we're going to do. Amen. And, and, and to close everything out, y'all, I just want to say, um, if y'all have any uh, disagreements as, as, as a couple, one thing you don't want to happen, do not go to bed angry. I'm telling y'all, do not go to bed angry. Because there may be a situation where you may not be able to even wake up. And then guess what? Nobody had a chance to apologize. Nobody had a chance to really go to God. And it, you know, it's just a, a bad situation. So Man. never go to bed angry, okay? Work that thing out. Pray or whatever y'all need to do. But resolve it before you go to bed together that night. All right? Amen. All right. But in the meantime, <laughs> DBA Nation, we are what? One right. nation under God. Right. Rise up and give God all the praise because he is so worthy, worthy of it. it. Yes. Amen. 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 See y'all on the next video, y'all. Peace.